very well. But I have to say a big thank you to him because he prepared the raw material I'm going to speak on, to speak on, and um, and also that's why um, um, I think I will go reading some something or almost everything <laughs> because he's been preparing them uh, it for me for him, for me. Well. Um, this is Andrea Castellani, my colleague. As I told you, he's an um, IT advisor, a specialist, specializing in uh, free software, working in Regione Umbria at the moment. Um, he's been also in the Open Source Competence Center, which is a, you know, a, um, a committee. It's uh, a competence center. Yeah, it's a com competence center uh, to decide how to, uh, because we have a we have had um, a regional law, one on the first, maybe the first in, uh, in our country. Was the first regional law mandating of the FP in Italy? Yes, and so um, uh, subsequently to this law, they established this competence center. He's he's been part of Liberi Umbria project just like me, and uh, he's a founder and a councillor in the board of directors of Liberi Italia just like me. And uh, at the moment, he's a consultant for technical methodology implementation in Stato Maggiore della Difesa, the defense, Italian defense, as you may have uh, heard about our, their migration, migration, and um, he's working at the moment to the document management systems, to how to integrate LibreOffice, especially in the headless, you know, I don't know if you know what is headless. Uh, you install a LibreOffice on a server and you call it from common line, so via scripts and so on. And that's the way he's, he's going to integrate with, um, with such document management system. Uh, that's me. Um, I'm a self-entrepreneur in Italy, and uh, this is the name of my enterprise. <laughs> I'm founder and secretary of the Linux user group in my town, which is Terni. And um, as I told you, I'm a founder of Libre Italia, and I am, I am in the membership committee of the Document Foundation. Last, I've been certified trainer and migration expert in the uh, in office, obviously. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> yes, many years ago. Anyway, um, Libre Italia was founded in August 2014, but uh, we already had um, a huge community on Google+, Plus, which was, uh, at that time, uh, about 1,600. Uh, 1, no, at the time was oh, okay. one, uh, was already one uh, one thousand sixty uh, six hundred sorry um, members on Google Plus. So we decided to found to constitute the association, and now we have more than two hundred and seventy members in Italy. Obviously, no, mainly Italian, but not uh, strictly Italy because we have also members from other countries, which are Italian maybe um, almost obviously, and but they live outside our country. So. And the community now has reached uh, more than uh, 2,600 um, members. Okay. Um, the goal of association, as you may imagine, is to spread LibreOffice, but not only that. We also want to spread our free Libre open source software, generally speaking, and the icon of Thunderbird is not casual, as you may know or may not know. <laughs> um, um, and also, uh, we want to, uh, to spread the, the culture and um, the concepts of uh, open data, open data formats, and open knowledge. And that's why the association exists and works. Well, we are the only Italian association being member of Open Source Initiative, mm -hmm. which is behind you know, Linux and all the most common, most known uh, uh, open source projects. And we have been selected as a part of the National Coalition Digital Skills for Digital Skills in AGID. AGID is the Italian uh, uh, agency for you know, digital skills. And they have selected our, our association uh, to be a member of AGID. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's see what, <laughs> what we have been doing in the last drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the tea. <laughs> this picture was taken in Bologna in uh, November 2014 when we had the first uh, 